All right. So prepping the bar, inside from cleaning and labeling a cocktail data set. So I've been working on a personal project, um, and I thought that in terms of being able to learn um, and, and be able to do data science properly, we would want to, to uh, have the, the data, sorry, Sorry about it. Um, so I'll, I'll just start again. I have a personal project, and it's it's basically to be able to take a, take a cocktail and determine what season of the year is the best season for it to be um, to be drunk in. So the um, Sorry, I'm, I'm supposed to do this with, with, um, with some screens uh, reading. I'll just move on. The, the, the idea, as, as, I, as I said, is to be able to clean the data and label the data. Um, but the, the focus of, of what I want to do in this presentation is highlight the use of the, the various areas of data science. So, Domain expertise, math, computer science. So for anybody who uh, has drunk a cocktail, uh, has seen a cocktail list, has wanted to prepare a cocktail, um, there are some basic things that uh, it's important to know about them. And so uh, the first thing is the ingredient list. And it, you know, it, it, it tells you these are the ingredients and, and, and this is how much of, of what you need. Um, most recipes give you the, the method. It will you know, tell you what glass may be um, and the size of it, as well as potentially with the data sets themselves, give you a, a category. So something like shots or classics or coolers, for example. Um, so here we have a representation of what a data set might look like in terms of the, the way that it's represented. And as we can see, it's very, um, it, 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 it's in its raw form here, so it's very much like that list of ingredients that we saw, you know, that we would see in, in, in a recipe, having the measurement and the, and the ingredients associated. Uh, but with, with data science and being able to, to, to use this in, in, uh, in tables, uh, this isn't a very f um, useful format. And so, the ingredients themselves, you'd want to be able to say, you know, give me a column and have the associated ingredient under that column rather than have two separate columns representing the same, the same thing. So another thing to, to take note of when looking at, at this um, is that the ingredients themselves aren't standardized. So you have some ingredients that are, for example, a brand, Hennessy, Jack um, Jägermeister. Other, other ingredients here are, are just generic, generic things. So, you know, coffee-flavored brandy, um, apple brandy here. So it's, it's, we have to find a way to take those very different representations and convert it into, into that standardized column. So you want your columns, for example, to have things like rum and have the volume of, of, of liquid associated with the cocktail that you're, that you're making. Um, as, as with any data set, everyone has their own idiosyncrasies. The one that um, I, I worked with here, it, in, this, in a single column, for example, the, you know, under the ingredient, it would contain multi multiple ingredients. So for example, it would say, oh, you know, we want a measurement of one ounce and we want the ingredient will be light rum and dark rum but it, it's in the same, and you need to be able to handle that properly when mapping to, to, the, um, to the column with, 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 the, with the right amount of volume. And well, in this particular data set as well, some of the data was placed incorrectly, so they, they actually put the measurement in the ingredient column and, and vice versa, which was just annoying. So in terms of being able to take the data in the raw form that it was 
and convert it into a more amicable uh, format. Computer science, of course, is, is, is a skill that you need to have. So the, the, the actual um, you know, coding up stuff to be able to get the data from the format that we started with to the intended format is, is a given, but it's also important um, to have another type of expertise, and that's the domain expertise. Because you, you could know how to convert from point A to point B, but you don't even know what point B is without having that, that domain expertise. So let me give you some examples of, of what that might entail. So as we saw with, with the brands and the types of, of um, spirits that, that we saw to be basically standardize that, uh, we wanted to normalize and categorize those. Um, categorization in particular was important for things like liqueurs. Uh, so if anybody knows, knows liqueurs, they are f uh, slightly flavored alcohols. So things like uh, Contro or Disarono. Uh, these, these have both flavor and alcohol. And one of the things that I, I, I absolutely needed to do, um, so you, you, you would see here, there's citrus juice and citrus spirit. Um, to be able to distinguish among the two, because citrus has a, has a flavor profile within cocktails, uh, it, they, they, they play a specific role. And so if we want to know what's a good time of year uh, to, to, to drink a specific cocktail, how citrus plays a role in that would be, would be a, a, a factor. And so uh, splitting it up into, into juice and spirit is, was important there, and domain expertise was, was be critical for something like that. Another aspect uh, with uh, domain expertise that you'll need is, um, is for data validation. Some of the, the ingredients within this, uh, the, 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 the data set contained, um, we wanted like one ounce of, of, anger, of, of bitters. So if, if, if anybody knows uh, bitters and, and, and spirits, you tend to put just a, a dash of it or, or a shake of it. And so uh, there's no way you would put a whole ounce of, of, of bitters in, in, in a cocktail. So knowing that was, was, was important to, to make the appropriate adjustment so that um, volumes, et cetera, made sense. So in addition to taking the raw data and moving it from the columns that we saw of the, the specific spirits, uh, alcohol or not, um, it's, it's important to take the feature vectors or to make feature vectors. Now, what are feature vectors? Feature vectors are, are, are just uh, plainly some representation or some properties about the data that, you, that you've extracted in, 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 into a column by, by itself. So in, uh, in this example here, we have uh, the, the percentage of alcohol within the volume of the cocktail. We have the whether bubbles are present in it, so things like uh, champagne, sparkling wine, soda, would have would have uh, give give some concentration to that. Um, citrus, the other flavors, wine, herbs. So it's it's it was important to be able to identify which attributes of the drink would would would, would play into being able to to label the data, and as factors. When we, when we extract our features, the labeling is, is, um, is, is, is what, what, you're, what you're targeting. So you are identifying initial features in the data to say what that you think would be relevant uh, with the associated output or labels. And of course, we, we, we could use our computer science knowledge to meld and mesh these uh, columns from the primary data that we have with the with the, um, with the ingredients, essentially. So once we take our time and, and establish what aspects of the, of the cocktails are, are useful, um, we could create some heuristics and say, you know, if I have a tall drink with um, you know, very low alcohol, it might be something that, um, that might be useful in summer, you know, use, useful to drink in summer. And similarly, something short, a uh, bit more alcoholic, probably a bit sweet or, um, or heavy, you may want to have 
in, the, in winter. And so you could create some rules around what to do to, 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 give, to get your label. So that's, that's what I did here, and, and the, the, the data uh, that we see here has that to the, to the far right, um, would be the labels based on the heuristics alone. And that's important because you as the, as the domain expert would come out and say, well, this, this is the thing that, that I make sense. You know your data. You understand what you want to relate. And so when you, when you take your time to build that validation around the heuristics, you are actually uh, establishing ground truth. And it's so important to establish that ground truth because anything after that is, is you know, based on what, on what the data tells you. And that's important. But you, you need to make sense of, of, of what is there. So as we can see with the heuristics, um, you get some of the data labeled. You probably and most likely won't get all of the data labeled. And so may want to uh, employ some techniques to help kind of automate and, and, and label in accordance with the heuristics that you've, that you've defined. And so well, here's where we turn to, to machine learning. We could cluster. Um, so, you know, grouping uh, data or similar data points together. So, you know, similar cocktails, Collins and coolers have similar properties. So, you may you may put put those in 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 um, in, in, this, in the same group, or at least you would hope that your clustering algorithms would put them in the same group. And so, once once you do that, you could establish well, these are the ones the, the cluster puts in this group, and that has a label. Okay, maybe the labels themselves or the, 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 um, the cocktails themselves would have similar properties and so um, could also fall into, into the appropriate label groups. So you could kind of fill in the blanks essentially or employ techniques to fill in the blanks to label, label um, the rest of them. So things like Bermuda Rose, Vargas Kawa in, in this case would have benefited from, from that uh, technique. All right, and one of the things that I, I, I wanted to uh, have you all get out of this talk is in terms of this simple aspect of labeling the data and, and cleaning the data, um, the importance of the domain expertise is, is absolutely key. You can't make appropriate or useful decisions for for uh, validity, data validity, and even the, the, that process of, of extracting um, the, 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 the truth of, of value from your data, it, it's important to, to, to check it against the, the, the domain expertise. Uh, of course, the machine knowledge and uh, machine learning knowledge is useful, um, but again, it's, it's, it's somewhat secondary to, to that domain expertise. So if you aren't the domain expert yourself, get one. Um, validate early and often, um, refine as required. So things like your features, if you, th if you think you have a feature and you, th you think it works, um, you, 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 know, you, may, you, may need to, you may need to change it. You may need to find some other features that, that are more appropriate to the, to, the, um, to the data set or even to the models that you're employing. This would go uh, similar to the labels as well. So one of the things that I strongly com contemplated with the, with the project is whether the, the labels are right. I mean, you could have a cocktail for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You could have cocktails with different courses in a meal, right? So you, there, there are different places where, or different ways to break down how you would, how you might decide to, to label or associate that input data of the cocktails to, to the output. And finally, um, just to say that the, the, the tools that you have could only take you so far. Um, it's important to be able to use that, that data, the insights from the data, in a, in a sensible way. So while my project is based to um, you know, be able to predict what time of year a particular cocktail um, is, is useful in, 
it, it, it's nice to be drunken because I, I, I like to make, make cocktails myself. So, you know, I, I, can, I can add, add to that list. Uh, another factor that, that, was, that was interesting for me is, is the, to be able to see, like plan my, my ingredient list, right? So, of course, I'll have the cocktails, I'll, I'll know the ingredients, and therefore I can have some sort of inventory planner. And so, with that as the goal in mind, you could plan around how you put the different, the different tooling in place to take advantage of the insight. So while it, it may, may not even be a model, I could get value from it. And that's, that, that, that's an important aspect for your data projects as well. So um, I hope that this talk gave you some insights into uh, what you might need to do when starting your own data projects. You know, cleaning the data, labeling the data, but of course, that's the boring part. You want to uh, start to make models and stuff, um, and it may be a, a question of selection. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you have a good day.